Hey guys, today's on Schizophrenia and My Favorite Book, Part 1. Schizophrenia and My Favorite Book, Part 1, but before we get to this, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I've conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And hey, listen, uh, I'm no spring chicken. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm not a spring chicken. I'm not characterized by spring. I don't have the strange uh, chicken toes. I, I, I don't have the feathers. Um, just not a spring chicken. And therefore... I've been around a few preludes in my ears, that's the point. And uh, I'm telling you, this kid, this prelude has got something that's particularly luxurious. Kind of like a, a Big Mac and fries. Hello there, my name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. This is book one, Where you know that. The bird. That's Mike the Wren. That's right, that's right. We talk schizophrenia. He flies in the sun, that's what he does. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of He's my got medical sciatica. confidentiality. And the I'm left a wing. Clinical social worker times fifteen years. He's having trouble. That's a lot of gabbing and straight. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one, and that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. He's very stubborn about going to the vet. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. My favorite book, part one. My favorite, one of my favorite books of all time is called Flow the psychology of optimal experience by his first name is Mihaly his last name starts with a cz and i don't know how to sp uh, spell it or say it but it's called flow the psychology of optimal experience and and this psychologist um interviewed some uh, high achievers and found out <clears throat> what makes uh for high performance and uh, I found it fascinating, and I think about it all the time. And uh, in sports, they call it being in the zone. Um, and uh, this uh, psychologist uses the term flow and how to facilitate flow in your life. And it's about living in the moment and uh, doing activities for the intrinsic nature, nature of uh, activities and uh, to absorb yourself in an activity um, and to... Uh, in a manner of of being able to induce optimal psychological experiences. So it's like being in the zone, or, or uh, he calls it uh, flow. Um, and when you're in flow, that's when you uh, uh, paradoxically forget about yourself. You become absorbed in an activity or absor absorbed in... Uh, absorbed in uh, um, whatever you're doing, and you full, you're you fully uh, aware of the moment, and you're living in the moment. So anyway, if, if you're interested in um, in that particular book, again, it's, it's, it's called Flow, The Psychology of Optimal Experience. And I always think about it, and he, uh, he puts forth a paradigm for what uh, induces flow. So you know, it's about being in the moment, like Eckhart Tolle's uh, The Power of Now. So I like that book. It's a good book. Uh, I think about flow now and again sometimes. When I run, I feel like I get into flow mostly. And when time flies, then you know you're in flow as well usually because uh, that's an indicator of uh, losing track of time is an indicator of flow as well. So if you're if you're curious about optimal experience, this guy he uh, he's got the goods. Big Mac and fries, say no more, say no more. Uh, if I could have one every day, would I? Probably, probably, probably. If it had no health consequences, if you really want to clog an artery, you know, go for the fries and the Big Mac. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. Okay. I'm going to try to find some flow right now, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.